Hello all, welcome to CodeCon. Uh, I am here with another interview question. It was asked uh, by Deloitte and the question uh, is very straightforward and simple. Uh, like that, uh, we are given two tables. One is a product table and another is a sales table. So this one is a product table and uh, okay, this one is a product table and this one is a sales table, right? So what we are need to do here is that we are asked to write an SQL query to find the products whose sales increased every year. We have to uh, include the product ID column, the product name and the category. That means we have to uh, include all the columns which are present in the products table. Okay. Condition is what? The products whose sales are increasing every year. Right. So if you see product ID 1, it sells uh, so in the first year was 1000 and then it increased to 1200 and then it fall. So as it fall, we need to skip it. We, we, we should not show it. For product ID 2, it sells was 500, then it sells was uh, 600 and again it was 900. So it increased. Over the time it increased and we should include it. We should include uh, what columns? Like we should include the product ID, the uh, product name which is jeans and the category. Our output should uh, show only three columns, right? And for the similarly for product ID 3, uh, first, first year it was 300 and then it uh, rose to 450 and then it fell down again. So we should skip it. I hope the uh, question is clear to you guys. The solution, my approach is going to be like first I will use a, a lead function to compare a present year sales with the next year sales and thereafter I will join uh, uh, like uh, the uh, based on the condition which is like uh, the sales of the present year should uh, always exceed uh, like should always be less than the sales of the uh, next uh, next year and with the products table and therefore and thereafter I will print the output so like this I will uh, approach select star from mm, cells right cells and with that I need to uh, see the I need to use a lead function lead, lead on what lead on uh, total revenue one and if it's null I will just uh, I will, uh, I will just print the value itself over partition by I'm using partition on the product uh, product ID column order by year and I'm naming this as uh, as next revenue as next revenue okay so if i run this query see uh, what i am getting is that for product id 1 i am getting the present year's revenue and also i am getting the next year's revenue and easily i can compare with this right next what i am going to do that is that i am going to store it uh, in city city as this one and next i am going to join this city with the product table first i am going to join this right Select star from city as C join products as P. The condition is that on a uh, joining condition is that on P dot products ID on C dot uh, products ID. It is product ID actually. Okay, product ID is equal to p dot uh, product ID. So simply, if I join these, see, I am getting the corresponding products, uh, product ID, the product name, and the category. Now, I am going to uh, focus on the uh, condition. The condition says that uh, the products whose sales increased every year, right? So I am here. Uh, here I am using a different uh, thinking. Like that, I am I am selecting those IDs whose uh, like revenue decreased from the next year, and I am going to uh, like focus on the. I am going to focus on those IDs whose re, whose uh, revenue decreased on the next year, and and I am going to exclude that. Where like like see, I'm the, like the condition I am putting is that where C dot product ID. Let me copy this from here. Where C dot product ID, not in not in select 
okay from CTE select product ID from CTE and here the condition is where uh, total sales total sales revenue is greater than next rev see what happens uh, see the condition is that in this particular uh, query I am going to choose those city uh, so, sorry those uh, product IDs which are not in this which are not fall under this category this category uh, in this particular category you will see those product ID whose sales actually drop this condition focus on this condition guys it says that total sales is greater than the next sales that means th there is a fall in the next year revenue uh, which results to the present year revenue uh, better, uh, uh, bigger than the next year revenue right so here um, the condition is satisfying satisfying like the total sales is greater than the next year sales so we are going to drop this particular uh, column here uh, in this particular row uh, so you, are, you are seeing no condition is satisfying in the um, falls under this condition and hence we are going to keep this and in this product id you can see this condition is satisfying and hence uh, so we, we are dropping this particular id i hope it's clear to you guys just i'm going to run this and it will be better like see i got i got only those product product id to whose revenue always increase than the previous year and now see there's a trick what i'm going to do here is that i'm first going to select the product id next i'm going to use a max function i'm i will say the logic behind using this max function let me write first the query uh, p dot product name comma max max uh, p dot product category okay max name name and uh, product category right okay the group by clause is missing missing uh, group by p dot product id okay as i run the query i am getting only one uh, row right when i uh, when i did not use that particular max function i was getting three uh, like identical column uh, rows so i use a max function and the group by uh, um, uh, function uh, or the clause just to cut the the extra two rows right what the what group by does it just uh, groups uh, like records having some common attributes and, uh, so i use the max function the max was uh, the intention uh, the, the intention of using the max function was just to uh, remove the redundant uh, rows. Simple, very simple, guys. I hope the solution is clear to you. And if you have any problem, let me know. I will try to make a better approach. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Meet you on the next video.